Welcome back to another Paladins Update Notes video, and in this one, we're going to be going over Sun and Moon. Now we have a new champion coming to this one, Eo, or Io, I'm not sure which one it is, the Shattered Goddess. She looks like she's going to be super fun to play. She has a pet, I guess you want to call it, that she can summon, and I think, don't quote me on it, but I think he or she, the pet being, can actually capture points too, which would be like the first deployable that can do that, so that would be cool. So... I'm not going to go over the lore, if you want to read that yourself you can, but overall she is a support with 2200 health, her weapon is a light bow, it's kind of just a bow and arrow, but I don't think there's any strings on it, it's just kind of invisible. She fires a weapon that deals 400 damage every 0.6 seconds. Her alt fire is called Moonlight. Hold and channel Moonlight into an ally, healing them for 135 every 0.15 seconds. Moonlight regenerates when not in use. It kind of reminds me of Saris' heal a little bit, how you kind of have to just keep it on them, and then you can kind of roam around a little bit. Um, somewhat like that, but a little different. And then her ability, first ability is Guardian Spirit. Now this is the deployable. Summon Luna to fight alongside you. Luna will rush and stun enemies that have been marked, wait, that have been marked your light by your light bow every 15 seconds. Luna can be resummoned to a new location every 8 seconds, and I'm pretty sure Luna stays out permanently until she's destroyed, so that is another cool feature. And ability number two is Lunar Leap. Quickly leap backwards and through the air. Um, it's really self-explanatory. She just kind of leaps backwards. It it almost looks like Pips jump a little bit, but backwards. <laughs> um, so that's kind of cool. And then the ultimate is Be Gone. Project an ethereal manifestation of Luna and send it forward. Enemies caught will be pulled along the travel path and take 800 damage when it collides into a wall. So a very unique support. Pretty controlling of the battlefield i want to say um with the ability to spawn luna and everything like that and of course the ultimate <clears throat> talents the default is lifelink luna now heals allies around her for 300 health per second so that's a good default to have level two you get goddess's blessing allies being healed by moonlight gain 15 percent damage reduction and at level eight you get sacrificed if eo falls below 200 health while luna is active she trades places with Luna, heals, and Luna dies in her steed. So, another cool card there. I'm really liking the cards and or the talents and everything. Um, for the weapon and armor, uh, we have Celestial Body, gain 50 health. Moonwalk, lower your gravity and increase your air control by 50% um, while using Moonlight. So, this is cool. Um, basically, just gives you kind of a zero gravity effect. Skywalker, lower your gravity and increase your air control while firing your light bow. Okay, so you can have both of those get zero gravity just being in the air, and then also, do, or no, that's using Moonlight, that's when you're healing, sorry. And then the uh, other one is for your bow, so I mix those up. And then Moonlight Garden, hits with Light Bow, restore Moonlight. Oh, okay, so, yeah, Moonlight needs to regenerate, that's the part that was uh, confusing me there for a second. So, basically, every time you hit an uh, enemy with your bow, it restores your heal. For Moonlight, we have Restore Faith, Regenerate 1% Moonlight every 1 second while not using it. Uh, healing with Moonlight heals Eo for 10 health that scales for 10. Spirit Arrows, Healing with Moonlight reduces the cooldown of Luna's deployable by 0.1 seconds. And then Shift Arrows, Allies gain 8% movement speed while being healed by Moonlight. So I like every single card that's in Moonlight, actually. Uh, Guardian Spirit, um, Feral Strength, Luna gains 200 health. Increase Luna's deployable range by 20%. Luna restores 2% moonlight every 1 seconds in a 30 uh, foot range. And then finally reduce the cooldown of Luna's initial deploy by 1.2 seconds. And then finally for Lunar Leap per cards. Restore Lunar's Leap cooldown by 0.6 seconds. Dropping below 15% of your maximum health reduces the cooldown of Lunar Leap by 100%, so you just get an instant cast. That's actually a really good card. Um, especially if you can compare it with the zero gravity stuff and get away even further. Full Moon, gain a 100 health shield for 3 seconds while you use Lunar Leap. And finally, Lunar Leap restores 2 ammo. <coughs> so we have a new battle pass, which is the Shore Patrol. Um, Steel Forge Battle Pass will become unpurchasable with the release of Patch 6. Shore Patrol Battle Pass will be available for purchase with the release as well. Um, receive instant rewards purchasing to unlock... Okay, I'm not going to go over through this. This is just kind of a basic rundown of, you know, Battle Passes. We, if you want to read that, you can, but it's self-explanatory. Um, instant Lock. So once you buy the Battle Pass, you're going to get this Shore Patrol Knessa skin, which is pretty cool. 
Um, and do you get all of these? Okay, I guess you would also get the Beach Bash loading frame. Um, and I guess the charming animated avatar. I guess that's at the initial purchase. It doesn't say anything different, so. Um, and then the 50% boost, obviously. At level 10, you're gonna get Shore Patrol Koga, which looks really cool in the card art. Um, I haven't seen it in game, but I'm just afraid it might be a little too plain, um, but it might not be. And then Shore Patrol Fernando, same thing. There's just really nothing to him. Shore Patrol Leon actually looks really badass. I like that weapon, that harpoon style thing at level 50. Um, the Battle, Pla Battle, Pla <laughs> Battle Pass Plus rewards. Um, level 20, you get the Beach Bash Kinesa Limited skin. Um, Beach Bash Koga Limited. So I guess these are just kind of recolors of the other ones. And level 40, same thing. Level 50, same thing. Other Battle Pass exclusive unlocks. Um, I'm guessing these are sprays? No, that's probably a spray. I'm not sure, but there's the content. Um, battle Pass Challenges. We have adjusted the Battle Pass Challenges to be more player friendly. Tiers 1 through 5 will now be more thematic and focus around a single champion. Battle Pass... Why, why can't I say that? Battle Pass Plus Challenges now unlock between levels 51 to 56. 56, man, I am butchering every word today, and award 1 million experience each, allowing players to make progress on challenges at their own pace. Um, we have default loadouts on the following characters have been updated. There's a list of them. You can read through them yourself if you want. Go ahead and continue. Um, new DLC, we have the Sacred Wolf, which is going to cost about $10 over real money. Um, comes out August 14th. Tap into your celestial powers with the exclusive Sacred Wolf pack. Instantly unlock the first ever wolf mount, Sacred Wolf, and Paladins. Protect your pack and pursue blah 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 blah. So you'll get 200 crystals as a free, quote unquote free bonus. Um, <laughs> really it's a $10, but so you get the Sacred Wolf mount and then 200 crystals for 10 bucks or $9.99. Um, Golden Leon has finally come out as well as Kinesa. Golden Androxus update. We have updated the Golden Arm uh, Emissive to be more purple. Okay, so that's just kind of like community feedback tip, I guess, or uh, change, I guess. Um, and then updated the default friendly and enemy loading frames to have a blue and red. I'm going to assume blue is friendly, the common sense there. We have the ice cold chest, which will be available July 24th. Um, it's gonna cost 200 crystals. We have the frost mare mount, um, ice walker and Nara J Jutsen Terminus. I never knew how to say that. Red winter Tira, Merry maker Leon, Black Ice Eevee and uh, Winter Grover Arctic Pip. So all the ice skins are going to be in there. We also have the Dragonic Chest available the, is it the same day? No, August 14th for this one. This is going to cost 300 crystals. We have the Molten Prowler in there as well as the skins. I'm not going to read through those ones. Um, ranked Split 4. So the Split 4 reward, rewards. Um, at 5 games, you get a gold chest. 25 games, you get this limited avatar right here. Season 2 Split 4 will introduce Paladin's first ever ranked map rotation. Each split, maps will either be in the active or reserved map pool. Reserved maps will not appear while playing ranked during that split. Each new split will see some maps rotated in between the active and reserved pools. So active maps right now, you could go ahead and look at them right there, and as well as the reserved maps. So that's a new interesting feature. And then Shattered Desert, Read, Find, Quicksand Bounds. So players should no longer be slowed when their champion is clearly not in quicksand. Um, for balances here, kill to heal item now trigger now only triggers off of players. Um, warning indicators such as grumpy bombs will now also appear red to players if they are in range. Um, and then fixed corner cases issues where players were indicated they were out of range of explosions, but the corner of their collusion was still inside. Jesus, that was my phone and I apologize for that. Okay, so for the champion fixes and Droxus cursed cylinder renamed to cursed revolver alters your weapon in the following ways is no longer semi-automatic maximum fire rate is decreased from 0.5 to 0.36 seconds damage increased from 520 to 600 and no longer loses accuracy when fired so a pretty interesting change right there uh, Lex his death hastens or hastens um, and now alters your weapon in the following ways no longer semi-automatic um, time between shots increased from 0.35 to 0.7. Damage increased from 320 to 680. That's a huge jump. Um, ammo count reduced from 10 to 6 and no longer loses accuracy when fired. After much community feedback, players will now be able to access 
and Droxus and Lex original weapons through talent. Okay. Um, Cassie's talent, big game, decrease the bonus damage timing from 6 seconds to 4 seconds. And Somersault, her card, gets an increased internal cooldown from 10 seconds to 15 seconds. Pip's card, Moxie, uh, used to be 10% healing, is now 6% increased healing when below 50% health, so a little nerf there. Maeve's Midnight, CC immune targets are no longer affected by this ability. Moji's collision, Moji's collision size is reduced. Koga gets an increased ultimate charge rate, used to be 0.004, is now 0.0056, those are such weird numbers, it's 40% change, um, matches other flanks. For Blood Reaper, it no longer increases the ultimate charge rate, um, it can now move 15% faster during Cyclone Strike. Leans and Enlightenment is now affected by Blast Shields. Willow's Wand of Overgrowth, Max Flat, Ma <laughs> I'm butchering words today. Max Fall Off now scales to 40% of weapon damage, up from 30%. Flutter gets an increased range. Fey Flight reduced the turning deacceleration during Fey Flight, and players can now cancel this ability. Her Flitter gets an increased uh, cooldown reduction, it used to be 0 .5, 0 0.5 seconds, is now 0 0.6 seconds. Willow can be very powerful in correct hands, but has historically been held back by her movement. We have adjusted Fey Flight uh, and more responsive to player inputs and straps and boosters to Flutter. Oh yeah, Flutter. Why did they... I thought Flitter. Flitter sounded weird saying it, but yeah, it is Flutter. Okay. <laughs> Typo there. Ying's Illusory Mirror gets a reduced fall off, and her Focusing Light gets a damage bonus increase from 150 to 200. Um, we have, I guess... Are these... Okay, no, these aren't all bug fixes. Fix an issue with the sleight of hand. Um, banished players will no longer gain or lose champion-specific resources for the duration. Now properly equips default weapon skins with the default. I think these are all kind of just bug issue, bu bug fix issues. Oh my gosh. So if you want to read all over those, you can. I'm just going to leave that there. Um, wow, they have a lot. My lord. That's a lot of bug fixes for one patch, but like I said, I'm not going to read through all of them. If you guys want to, you can. Um, and then we have some that are under investigation. So that is going to be it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like and hit subscribe for more content. I will link uh, this website down in the description if you want to read over everything yourself. And thank you for watching.